1962, if I'm wrong in a year, I met Ellie Halsey. Now there was a classic. Ellie, two great classics that year. If I'm wrong in 61, still split. Two great classics. They both belong in heaven's domain. A young Ellie Halsey in March, March of 1962, if I'm wrong in 61, but I think it was 62. I met her at the Cafe Bazaar, the way out wild place in Greenwich Village on West 4th Street that had a flag of the worst witch you ever saw. I was working there for $10 a night for two nights. My agent, George King, came each night to take five a night. And at that particular time, I was also playing with Ram Jim and his Calypso band when Patrice Lumumba was the biggest thing in Africa. And at that time, uh, Richie Havens and I met each other walking through each cafe in the village uh, saying hello and goodbye. At this particular time, Ellie Halsey was a waitress. And I'll never forget, she invited me up to her house for health foods. And I couldn't go because the, she was fired as a waitress. And the owner said, I'll fire you if you go up to her house. And I didn't have the nerve to go up to her house and get fired. But I wrote her this song. Her father, by the way, was one of the founders of the Saturday Evening Post, which I learned later on. He was in Philadelphia. That was a period of time when rich girls, and rich, especially rich girls, ran away from their parents and wanted to be hip with the hippies around the, you know, the village and whatever. It was a changing period of time. And, but she was tall, lanky, brownish hair, Oh, Ellie Halsey, she was a dream's dream. And a song I wrote to her, whatever I remember. Hello, Ellie Halsey. Hello, Ellie, dear. How have you been feeling since I saw you yesteryear? Was it last December? Or was it in May? Still I love you, darling, as I did, dear, yesterday. It goes on and on. I really was thrilled with that song when I wrote it for her. Uh, 